Okay, Scorpio, it's Kendrick with Providence. I am going to pull your proofread card. So let's see what you've got. Ooh. Yes, Scorpio. The death card. That's your card, you know. This is talking about some fears that you might have, right? And, you know, usually fear comes from anger. And sometimes fear can come from confusion, right? Things that might be hidden from us that are out of our control. Those are things that we fear, right? Because we can't put a stop to something. So this is you being unable to put a stop to something. Uh, and feeling like something was out of your control, not necessarily out of your hands, because when sometimes People say, oh, it was out of my hands. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't really care to do anything about it. And I wasn't really responsible to do anything about it anyway. Um, but out of my control is like, I want to fucking do something about it. And I can't. And it makes you angry. It makes you fearful. It makes you feel weak. It makes you feel vulnerable. And it makes you feel duped and gotten. So you might even be feeling cheated um, in some kind of way. Um, you know, your emotions are really a projection, you know, of what's going on. You know, it's kind of like they're a little navigation system. They're trying to steer you um, trying to just steer you, you know, it's your motivation. So this is saying that fear is motivating you here, right? Because Scorpio is ruled by Mars. Mars is talking about motivation and is talking about, um, control and power, intensity, passion, will, drive. But the will and the drive and the passion is being, you know, uh, steered by fear right and i feel like you just have to realize where you are in a situation and this is just getting past the conflict you know once you have experienced that which you have that which you feared then you you no longer fear it right because you've made it past it so you i feel like you are trying to get past a really hard Time, a really hard situation, uh, a really difficult conflict, you know? Something, you know, somebody is like very persistent, right? Something is very persistent. Um, I feel like you think that's, or feel like something is looming in the background, you know? Um, yeah. The death card is talking about endings and it's talking about cutting things as well. So you could be cutting someone off or you could be ending something based out of fear, right? Or you could be, you know, ending something because, you know, you didn't want to get hurt and that's kind of like fear anyway. Uh, wanting to have the upper hand, you know? And this is like maybe your disappointment from not having the upper hand, you know? And we, we all know that Scorpio likes to have the upper hand. Pluto has the upper hand period. And so does Saturn, you know, because Saturn is the karmic teacher and, you know, it's the, it's the one that makes us pay consequences, right? And Pluto is the, you know, it's basically Hades, right? It's, it's, it's death and everyone will experience that. So, <laughs> you know, there's no getting away from something and you just have to release the need to try to change it or try to stop it yeah and or try to prove something that you won't be able to prove you know um and you know your impulse might just be to fear something or feel fear a certain outcome or fear a certain situation but uh it's really just the impulse you know the only thing you have to fear is fear itself. 
<laughs> All right. So this has to do with money, right? And it probably has to do with family as well. Maybe you're not going to be getting the support from your family that you were getting before. Financially. This could even be a business, right? It could be a business closing. It could be an account closing. It could be, you know, um, something. You could be getting fired or something like that. Um, you just, you may not be making the same amount of money. The Ten of Pentacles is Mercury and Virgo. And Mercury is the mind and your intelligence and your aptitude. Well, not necessarily your aptitude. That's more, that's more sad. But this is definitely still giving you that, that energy of aptitude, right? Because Jupiter is number 10 and this is the Ten of Pentacles. So what, is, what are you thinking about doing, right? What are you thinking about doing that is going to be bringing in some money? You might even have to change some concepts, some business concepts. You might even have to change the path that you were on ultimately. Um, the ways that you were doing things, you might still be able to get the same thing done ultimately, but you might just have to change the ways that you were doing them, right? Okay, and the death card is Scorpio. Scorpio is ruling shared resources, right? And Scorpio rules power, and money is power. So there's, there's, there's some shared resources here, and someone is trying to have the upper hand on the money or the resources, right? And there's conflict in terms of how the money might be being distributed or being shared or be being spent, you know, or what it's being spent on, what is important, you know, what do we have a responsibility here to provide, you know, and what do we not need, and how can we chop what we don't need, and how can we keep what we do need, right? Because, you know, when that death card comes in, it's like, ah, I want to keep what I have, and it's like, but you can't keep what you have, and you're like, oh my God. Right. But the Ten of Pentacles is saying, you know, you can have you can have the satisfaction and you can still be a consumer and not just, you know, have all of the things that you had before. You know, this is reducing. This is better planning, being more logical about the things that you are sort of accumulating, keeping, buying, you know, printing. Um, you know, and this is better allocation of the finances. You know, and it's so that you can protect certain things, right? Um, and it's so interesting because, you know, we're social, we're physically dis distancing and we're wearing the masks and things like that so that we don't have to experience something worse than we already have. And Virgo is talking about health. And Virgo is talking about wealth. And your wealth is in your health. But your health is all around. Your health is not just, you know, how is your body doing, you know, biologically? Or, you know, uh, how was the chemistry working in your body? Neurologically, um, you know, that. <laughs> Are you reading the right things to feed your brain? Are you eating the right foods to feed your body? Are you um, Are you around the right people that are going to be beneficial to your your mental well-being everything counts so we need to make everything count but count at a cheaper price <laughs> or not even cheap just you're reducing the things that you don't need so that you can still have the same quality of things that you do right oh my goodness the judgment card let go of the things that you can't control scorpio and you will free yourself from the things that control you. And also, this is money, right? Um, yeah, definitely. You'll be back in your power before you know it when you make these adjustments.